I'm Dr. Amy Saren, neuropsychologist and chief science officer of the Touchpoint Solution. Do you know that seven out of 10 adults experience stress every day? Stress is one of the most misunderstood concepts plaguing our society today, but we rarely take a moment to consider what's actually happening in our brains that causes us to react to stressful situations. Today, we're going to learn about the salience network, the key network in our brain that actually sets off the stress response. We'll discover how the brain processes important information and makes a decision without your awareness about how to react, oftentimes without you even realizing it's happening. The interesting thing about stress is that it doesn't really reflect what's in the moment a lot of times. You know, how can you get stressed out about something that isn't happening right now? And the answer is the process of detecting and selecting that the salience network does. So the salience network detects any kind of information, sensory information coming in from the outside, thoughts or pain sensations or any kind of sensory or other information coming from the inside. It detects all of these things that are coming in because we're really being bombarded in, in milliseconds with all this information. And if we tried to pay attention to all of it, there'd be no way that we would have a, attention left for anything else, right? So this is the network that detects and selects. It's gonna take all of the information coming from outside and inside and pick what it's going to have you pay attention to consciously okay because there's a lot going on right now that you're not conscious of right and that's you can thank your salience network for that and then it's going to select what to do with that so if i go <gasps> Your salience network picks up that sensory information through your you know, visual information and auditory information, and you may actually have a nervous system response to that. It detected my, what, what I was putting out and selected flicking on the switch of the, of the sympathetic activation trigger. Okay, but so then deselecting that is a little bit trickier. Your salience network is autonomic. It actually has nothing to do, very, very little to do with your consciousness, okay? Your thoughts project into it, but they're not the major part of what's being processed, okay? So you can think of a thought like, oh no, I forgot to do something and now something bad is going to happen and your salience network will flick the stress switch on, but then good luck switching that off. Sometimes you can do it with thoughts. Oh no, it'll be okay because I can make this phone call and make it all right. And then your body goes back to a calm state. Okay, but sometimes you can't think yourself out of sympathetic activation. And then what do you do? Well, you should rely on the bottom-up processes. You should use touch points or other non-invasive things that can actually help your nervous system calm down through the salience network. And the good news is you don't need consciousness for it. This is why you can have touch points on and go about your day and the, a thought can get generated and then it won't create the stress response or if it does, it goes right down. Okay, this is a nervous system and a stress hack and it's helping your brain detect and select something different which is calm versus stress.